Hi everyone, I'm gonna show you how to deflask the tissue culture and how to pot the tissue culture. So this one is a variegated banana, it's a Florida Musa. So it come in a flask or a jar. So as you see the gel, which is a nutrition for the root to grow. So I'm gonna open the jar and get banana out. Be gentle because sometimes you can break the leaf but it's okay if you break the leaf and you see a lot of gel with good root and now you're gonna wash the gel off the root under the water okay and make sure that the water is a little cold not too warm it can damage or can burn the root because the root is so fragile and it's so um i would say it's like a new one so it's really fragile and easy to be damaged So make sure it's cold, okay? Then I'm gonna wash it a little bit stronger so I can get all of the gel out. So all of the back leaf, I'm just gonna have removed it on the bottom so it doesn't cause any uh, mushy on the bottom that's close to the root. Okay, make sure all of the gel is out. It's okay to wash the leaf as well. Okay, make sure you entangle it. So some of the root might come off, don't worry about it. Alright, now we make sure there's no gel left. So there's no gel left. Now you're going to use a dry towel and try to soak all of the extra water on the root area. So it's not too wet because it can cause the rot. Now I'm gonna mix the soil. Okay, this is a soy mix that I made. You can mix it on your own or you can follow mine, which I think I like it because they have a sitting uh, potting mix. The sit starting potting mix from the Miracle Grow. And I mix with a prolite, the big prolite. Yeah, this is how it looks like and you mix with the prolite in the bath and you put some water in here and you zip it and you shake it put some water so it's not too wet it's a little moist now i have the pre-mix so i'm going to use a little uh, cup this is five ounce cup no hole on the bottom i'm going to fill up with about one third of the soy mix just one third and make sure all dried up all right and you spread the root out a little bit and you put it in here make sure the root on the side of the cup i like to use a clear cup so i can see the root all right now you can put the soy mix in here You want to get the stick to kind of make it stay, it's okay as well. But you don't have to because it's too small. Okay, just that try, don't try to press down because it needs some air for the root to grow. You can adjust it. So that's it because it just out the flask so the uh, way the plant go is a little bit too to the side don't worry about it when you get a light up or under the light the leaf gonna stand up and face to the light because it try to get the uh, the light to grow okay so this one is another pot i mixed earlier the most important thing i want to see is the rooting so because it's just out of the flask, it takes time to adjust to the soil. So as you see the root, you can be visibly seen on the side of the pot. I want to see that so in case the root has some issue, like rot or it's not growing, I can repot right away and save the plant. Here as you see the root on the side, right, and not too wet. And don't water it for now, no hole. And now you put in a closed cabinet or on in the ziplock. I'm going to use the ziplock. 
if you have a prop box if you uh, have a roy and you use the prop box to propagate the cuttings you can put into the prop box as well under the light but if you don't have it don't worry you have the zip lock back a little bit and you can put it in sometimes i can flip so i'm gonna use a little cup to hold this in all right just to make sure and you can put some water here or some water in there just to make it a little moist so you're gonna put the water on the side not into the soil or you can put directly into the uh, zip lock what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to create a humidity because it was in the cup in the flask i mean it was in a flask with a lot of humidity like almost a hundred percent so you try to mimic the same as a greenhouse here and the plants are a little taller than the zip lock so i'm gonna kind of bend it over a little bit and just zip it and possibly i'm gonna bend it over a little bit you probably want to get a bigger zip lock and i can blow it <laughs> to make it a little bit inflated okay so that's it all right so this is you're gonna keep it for a ballet i would say two to four weeks depends and you can see the root as well to see how it is and as you can see the plant gonna start standing up because it starts to get a little nutrition and also get humidity so it's not being compressed so we're gonna start growing so good luck and have a nice day this is my variegated banana of course you can label you want to try to get a little bit bigger bag if you don't have a zip lock you can just get a plastic bag from the supermarket and use a rubber band and tie it on top on top to create a little bit like a humidity all right good luck and have a nice day bye